What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer, and today I am coming to you with some brand new content. Skins is going to be the topic of this video. If you can't tell already, this video is actually not scripted. I decided, hey, I'm just going to jump on the fly, take a look at this new content without, you know, taking the time I normally do to write out a script. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. So if you haven't seen already, the new comic, Overwatch Uprising, was, I guess, leaked? I don't think it was intentional that it came out this early. I'm actually kind of disappointed it did. It, I don't know, maybe it'll ruin the, ruin the release of the event, but whatever. I'm going to jump on this opportunity and take a look at what I expect to be, for sure, some of the new skins we're going to see in this upcoming Overwatch Uprising event. So, right off the bat, if we look at the front title page, we can see Reaper, well, Gabriel, technically, at this point, Soldier 76, Jack Morrison, Anna, and Tracer in the background. And Tracer is wearing her, I guess you could call it a training uniform, which we have seen in a photo before in-game. And so, and so, first thought is, okay, yeah, that Tracer skin, that, that's probably going to be a new one, isn't it? No, I don't think so, after having read through the comic, and we'll get to that in a bit, what I mean. So anyway, the one thing that is actually very important on this title is the Omnics, which you can see on the left side and right side. Now, these are part of, uh, let me check what they're named again. <laughs> God, I'm doing this so on the fly. These are part of the Null Sector Omnic Terrorist Group. Now, these are brand new in this comic. We've never heard of this faction before, but... Right off the bat, I'm calling it now, that's going to be a Bastion skin. It doesn't look like they have a turret on their back, which is interesting, so I wonder how that could be implemented. That you'd obviously need a turret for Bastion since he's a turret. <laughs> but these guys don't seem to have turrets. However, I will say that definitely Bastion is in need of a legendary skin for sure, because he has yet to get one for an event. And as we can see here, these guys look a lot like Bastion. Just saying, that's most likely what we're going to see. Anyway, moving on past Bastion. The next one on the very next, very first page, I guess you should say, is McCree. Now, I was thinking McCree, he, oh, he's definitely in need of a new skin. Ep er, he's definitely in need of a new skin, preferably a legendary. And as we can see here, he's got a different skin. He's got both his arms, for one thing. I think that's worth noting. Not quite as spectacular as I was anticipating. This might end up just being an epic skin. Very well could just be an epic skin, but that's still good. Being a Black Watch member, I was expecting him to have something more similar to what Reaper wears, or, you know, in his Gabriel Reyes skin from the Origins edition. But instead, it looks kind of like what McCree normally wears, except kind of darker. So, we are going to, I guess, have to see whether that's going to end up being a skin or not, hopefully, because he's kind of in need of a skin. Anyway, moving on, we get another image of the Null Sector robots, which... I mean, it's... Bastion needs that skin. That looks so freaking cool. He needs that skin. No questions there. Now, moving on a bit, we came to a skin that I was considering they might have something, but I didn't expect it. I flat out didn't expect it, but it looks like we might be getting it. And that's, I guess, recently resurrected Genji is all I can think of calling it. I mean, he's he's got all machine parts. You can see he's scarred. Clearly, this is after his encounter with Hanzo. I mean, otherwise he wouldn't even be with Overwatch. But... It's not the same cyborg ninja suit we're used to seeing him have. And this is really interesting because this, this goes really in depth, I guess, into, you know, what he actually looks like. Because we see the full metal suit that he normally has in his default skin. But here we can see that, you know, actually he has his entire left arm still. That's interesting. I didn't, I didn't think he had that, to be honest. Now, very specifically about this outfit is he has the Black Watch logo on the center of his chest, which is fascinating to me because I don't ever recall having heard that he was a part of Black Watch. You know, Black Watch being the, the undercover sort of Black Ops section of Overwatch, which, you know, Gabriel Reyes and McCree are both a part of. 
So Genji being part of Blackwatch, that might be new information, or I might just be, you know, forgetting. I don't, I don't know. Let's keep moving though. So up next we have Lab Coat Winston and Mercy, which I think are interesting, but I don't think they're going to be skins. I, I really don't, because they're just not special enough, if you know. I mean, it's a lab coat. Eh. It's cool, I guess, but unlikely, especially for Mercy, because coming up towards the end, there's something that I think for sure will be one of her skins. So let's, let's keep moving on so we can get to that. So if we jump forward to pretty much the end of this comic, we see four of which I'm certain are going to be new skins. There are Reinhardt's blue Overwatch skin, Mercy's blue Overwatch skin, Torbjorn's blue Overwatch skin with a baseball cap. Oh my god, I need that Torbjorn skin. And lastly, we've got Tracer's blue Overwatch skin. Now, I'm fairly certain this is the exact same skin we see in the uh, teaser video, which we got on Twitter a couple days ago where you see the sort of blue outfit and it looks like it's Tracer, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So that, that skin in particular is, you know, pretty much guaranteed at this point. Overall, all these skins are looking pretty cool. God, I, <laughs> Torbjorn's in particular, I'm not really sure why. Probably just because I love baseball caps. Uh, <laughs> oh, I really want to see that Torbjorn skin. Uh, that, that one, oh, got my fingers crossed, please. Anyway, I've also heard people talk about how this four, who you can see here at the end, are probably going to be the event brawl or special game mode for this event. And that's going to be these four fighting off Omnics, the Null Sector Omnics, which, oh, I mean, <laughs> I'm getting so excited here just thinking about it. This, I mean, this has to be what it is. Let's be honest. This has to be what we are looking at. I don't want to get too much in depth about this new game mode because I'm actually planning another video where I'm going to talk more about that. So that'll be in the future. Stay tuned for that. However, finishing up the topic of skins, there is one skin which we don't see in this comic anywhere, but we, well, know is going to exist. And that's a Widowmaker Legendary skin. So this is interesting. I was, I'm a bit disappointed because this is going to take, I mean, you know these are going to be the skins we're going to get, at least some of them. And I feel like it's taking away from the hype to just have, oh wow, look at all these skins in this comic. Now we have to wait almost a week before we can actually play the event. Mm, <laughs> that kind of sucks. But I, we still got the Widowmaker one at least. That one, not spoiled in this comic unless it's like really tiny somewhere and I just completely missed it. But... Yeah, so we still got Widowmaker to look forward to, but the rest of these, they're looking pretty nice. I will say that. Very nice, especially that Torbjorn one. And the McCree one is a maybe, and the Bastion, ugh, Bastion and Torbjorn are the two. I keep saying it, but anyway, I think I'm going to stop now before I just keep rambling. This is a very non-conventional video for me because I didn't have any script for it, so hopefully it didn't turn out to be garbage. I don't know. I'll see what you guys say in the feedback. Feel free to leave your comments down below, What whatever you think we're going to end up seeing next, or uh, you think that these are the skins we're going to get, you think there's going to be other skins, let me know. So anyway, this is Mastery and Gamer signing off. Be sure to click that like button if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to share. Uh, please subscribe. I appreciate your support so much. And until next time... Keep getting hyped for this super cool sound and event, and have a great day.